So now we're going to play a video of Andrea. And I'm going to ask you to listen to this video, Andrea, at four years, four months old. I'm going to ask you to listen to this video. And as you listen, I want you to write down what you hear. And then we're going to go through the critical questions and see what we learned about Andrea. So let's first go over and talk about what we hear. Cinderella. Um, uh, her stepsisters went to the ball. Cinderella couldn't go to the ball because her got ragged dresses. And the stepsisters didn't clean up. And they told him, Cinderella, wash dishes. Cinderella, can you get sisters the clothes? Help your sisters to get ready for the ball. I got her to clean dishes, and I got only friends. Um, birds? I, I don't want to say the animals. Okay, you don't have to. <laughs> What's this? And then what happened? This is very little. I know, so she, she only had birds that were friends and other animals, and so she didn't go to the ball? No. Aww. And then her god mother um, put a beautiful dress on, and then she went to the ball with a... And then she made a carriage and a pumpkin. And then... Um, her went to the ball, and then I went goodbye. And then she went to the ball, and then she went to the party. And then her um went to the house, and then um the end. That was the end. She went to the ball, and she went home, and that was the end of the story. Yeah. Wasn't there something about a glass slipper? Oh, the glass slipper. What happened with that? But wait. I got it through the Snow White because... Now finish with Cinderella about the glass slipper. That's important. The glass slipper fell off of her foot and she couldn't wait. So what happened? I forgot her shoe and she had only one shoe of uh -huh. glass slipper. And so what did she do? She tried on the slipper and then the man the prince found the slipper. Mm -hmm. And then they took it to her house, but then the stepsisters came down to put it on, but it couldn't do. One was putting it like, boom, like that, and then, and then push. Like, what? Push fell down. Uh, who fell down? The stepsister? No, the, the shoe off of her. Oh my it was like this, her foot was like this. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do you like that story? Because it's nice. Now, I didn't write down everything, but I did write down the stuff that I thought was interesting. Remember, she starts off, I don't know the stepsisters' names. How was their names? Now, why does she use how? Then she says, her got only friends, birds, and... Does she have an anomia problem? Does she have a vocabulary problem? Why does she only say birds? Birds and I don't want to say the animals. Hmm. What do we learn from that? Cinderella, now this is the mean stepmother saying, Cinderella, help your sisters to get ready for the ball. Cinderella couldn't go to the ball. What I like about this, this statement. She's got this dialogue going on, which is a great indicator of good narrative skills. Now, Cinderella couldn't go to the ball. Look at this verb tense. Couldn't go. That's a high verb tense at four years, four months. The fairy god fairy mother make a carriage in a pumpkin. Now, what she's trying to say there, she the fairy godmother turned a carriage into a pumpkin. That is a very complex statement. She does her best. Her make a carriage in a pumpkin. Her godberry mother put a beautiful dress on her. Put, again, irregular past tense. We got a bunch of them happening. Her forgot her shoe, and her only got one shoe of glass slipper. Now, those of you who evaluate kids, 
At this point, Andrea would be evaluated as a monolingual English speaker. Monolingual English. Any of you evaluating a monolingual English people, per, person, a child who may have exposure to another language, even though they really don't use it at all, you'd have to know normal process of second language acquisition. You'd have to know features of that child's language to think about interlanguage, right? Because we could say, what's wrong with her? Why does she say, how was their names with the, with the stepsisters? If you were brought, had the knowledge and skills needed to evaluate a child, Engl essentially monolingual English kid now, who comes from a Spanish-speaking background, you would know that when you, that como is the, is the, is the uh, question indicator in Spanish. So instead of what was their, what were their names, how was their names, is interlanguage and transfer from Spanish. So she's using her Spanish to communicate. Her got only friends birds. Now when you go, whoa, what's wrong with her? Why does she only know birds? You know in her mind, you can almost see it when you look at her. She's looking at probably the Disney picture. And there's a little chipmunk and there's a little squirrel and there's a little turtle, a turtle down there. And, but she, and maybe a little grass, whatever, I forget what there is there. She can't, she doesn't, is it because she has bad memory, anomia, poor vocabulary? She may just not have acquired the words in English. Some people say, well, why don't we find out whether she knows chipmunk and turtle in Spanish? And I can attest to you that she does not. She doesn't know turtle and chipmunk and squirrel in Spanish. She doesn't. A mouse. There's always a mouse in Disney. She doesn't know that stuff. But it doesn't mean that she has a disorder or a disability. She's in the process. She's lost a lot of L1. She's learning English, but she hasn't acquired the labels. What does she do? She has to do something a monolingual kid would never have to do. She has to get herself out of a pro out of a situation. Her got only friends, birds, and she set herself up. She can't do it. In her head, she goes, I got to get out of this. So what does she do? She shows you even greater strength than if she just listed a couple more animals. She says, I don't want to say the animals. So she tells you she knows categorization, and she gives the, ca the categorization for that series that she didn't know the word for. Tells you a lot about her. Her godbearing mother put a beautiful dress on her. Her forgot another nice irregular past tense verb. Her shoe and her only got one shoe of glass slipper. Of glass slipper, for those of you who know Spanish, know that this is a very typical way of phrasing in Spanish. Then some of you might think, yes, but she, in the very end she goes boom and bush. One was putting it on like this and then bush. Well, in fact, in many, many narratives, what's fun is to use these kind of sound effects. And many cultures use those sound effects much more, uh, not much more, but as a way to color and make their language, make their stories richer. So when you think about what she couldn't do, sometimes we look at the form, we go wrong, 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 wrong. In fact, a lot of it is excellent second language learning, excellent English language acquisition, excellent use of L1 to acquire the skills, wonderful, look at couldn't, forgot, went, um, dialogue, uh, so many things, categorization. And so what I do when I'm listening to a narrative, a child or a language sample, is I start to write this stuff down. She was obvious, narrative is a great thing to ask a child to do because it really does stress their language system. And then I write this stuff down and I start my analysis. Truthfully, I have friends who I call up on a regular basis to analyze this stuff because you need help. You want, I'm thinking about this, what do you think? That's what you want to develop. It's not about pulling the test off of the shelf. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, we're all score standards, card. delay. Yes, I think, yeah. No, it's like putting your analytical skills. The reason we need a master's or a doctorate to do these evaluations is because it's challenging. And I'll say it again, I've said it before. If all you're going to do is give a standard test, raw score, standard score, give me three days with community college graduates. I will train them how to do the psychology test for preschoolers. Give me three days with another group and I'll train them how to do the speech test. And give me three days, I'll train them how to do the OT and the um, Ed Evaluator tests. So 
I mean, whether the child says baby or not, whether, there's no clinical judgment. But that's why you need your master's. That's why you need your doctorate. And that's what we've sort of forgotten in the clinical practice. Okay, let's move, move back to here. So now let's look at the critical questions. Now we've looked at what we've gotten from Andrea. What I like about this, I think I misspelled Cinderella, but whatever. <laughs> what we've gotten from this is some good information about her. And clearly her linguistic system is being stressed in this process. Right? She's pushing herself, as you saw with the birds and, I don't know, I want to say the animals. She's stressed. She's trying to really tell a great story. 